What's up YouTube? This is Lear Elk Gaming and today we are going to be installing the Impact 4.1 Minecraft hacked client. And we're also going to be just reviewing the basics of it as well toward the end of the video. So we're going to start by installing this. So the reason why I'm making a video about this is there aren't many videos on how to install this. And most of the videos out there are either just squeakers trying to get fame and just people who don't know how to explain it and just talk like they're drunk, so we're going to be installing this, so use this link, I'll have this in my description and if this ever updates, which it should update to 1.13 soon I will put that in the comments so you just need to put that link in and you'll get to this so whatever you do, just do not click on this or any of these ads down here because that's just going to download stuff you just don't want to download it's trying to trick you and they're just ads what you want to click is this download 1.32 KB that's exactly what you want to download so you click on that and you'll probably get an ad that will pop up and it won't download that first so it'll just have to X out of the ad and click on it again didn't do it for me because I already tried it to get rid of the ad thing okay so now we have the impact client in WinRAR. So you do need to have WinRAR for this. And yeah, we'll pay for it soon. But. So, first put it in your regular. And what are we doing here? What's going on? Oh, I need to delete this. Okay. Yes, delete. Okay. So don't do that. But what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop it right here. Just anywhere on your screen. Just drag and drop that. I'll get rid of that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your files. Let me just start fresh so you guys can have an idea. So first you're going to go find the drive that Minecraft is located in. For me that's my RC drive. And you're going to click users. And then wherever you have Minecraft load, click that. You're going to have to memorize that. And then what else you're going to do is once you're in this file, or whatever file you have, Minecraft located in, you're going to go to app data, you're going to go to roaming, and then you're going to go to dot minecraft. Alright, so now we're just going to put this into a window, and what we're going to do is, where is it? It's up there, okay. So I'm going to widen this a bit, so you guys can see what I'm doing. And yeah, that was a fail. Okay. So, this, you're going to drag that into versions. And that's all you have to do, just drag it into versions, and then go into versions, and check if impact is there. So it's right down here for me, 1.12.2 dash impact low dash 4.1. Alright, so now you have it installed. So now what you do is you run, you open up Minecraft, and you actually have to run it once. I'll just wait for the thing to load. So you actually have to run the thing once. For it, in order for it to work, just I'll skip through this loading part. All right, and after you have just plain old vanilla Minecraft load up, and this isn't a 1.13 update, doesn't really matter. So then you quit the game. Now what you should do is go to launch options and add new. Name this whatever you want for this. I'm going to name it our channel leader elk gaming hacks okay so then what you want to do is make sure game directory is correct yeah that should be correct and then what you want to do is go to version and just look around it may take you a while to find it for me it's right here let's click that save and let's go to news and let's look for this um, I'm just going to load one I already had. So let's play that. I don't know why I named it German Hacking. I just named random things. Alright, and it should just load up like that. So don't mind all the errors and stuff. It's, I just guess it's something that goes wrong with the thing. Okay, so it just should load up just like that. Now it will ask you whether you want to update it. 
Now I'd recommend you go update it, but I'll do that in another video, so I'm just going to skip. And you don't need to update it for it to work on all versions. I guess, I just guess you need to update if you want it to be more reliable, but... Okay, so here we go. So don't be confused by the new launcher. I guess this is just some little cool feature they added in the Impact 4.1. This is single player. Okay, you all know that. Okay. So let me go to multiplayer, and this is still the same as vanilla. This is still the same. Let's see, is Realm still the same? Oh, client outdated. Well, that sucks. But I can still join servers, so. Oh, and I was using Boatfly. That's funny. Okay. So now, this is on my server, Elkcraft. And I'm going to be showing you how this works. So what you want to do is, to the right of you should be, you have, okay, on most keyboards, there's two shift buttons. Choose your right one, and you'll open up the tab. Now, always right click to get rid of things like, Let's say I want to use Killaroo to kill something, and Killaroo is a PvP thing. You want to right click on combat, you want to right click on Killaroo. And then you want to configure all of this, so I have it configured to where it only hit players. So I'm going to left click on hostile and passive so I can demonstrate this. And by the way, these are mods I can only use on my server. So I'm going to use spawn mob. What should I use this on? Let's use a cow. Okay, now let me go back. So I have the key bind to R, so I can just put it to E, I can put it to R, whatever I want. Um, what else I could do is amount of attacks inflicted per second, so I can always bring that up. I like it to be at 6. It can be like up to 19, but if you're on like a server with an anti-cheat, you're going to be mm -hmm. banned in like just that fast. So I recommend if you're going to, um, if you're going to use tracers or... Anything that will that will give you an advantage in a PvP server, and they do have a pretty good anti-cheat. I'd recommend you go ahead and configure that in single player, and configure that to whatever you think is the least risky, but will give you a definite advantage. And then once you have all that configured, go into multiplayer, some thing like Mindplex or Hypixel, and just start killing shit. So, as you see, it, I only had to look at the cow with kill and it right. kills him. And also, it does it much faster. Right? Hold on, let me just spawn mob villager. So it hits him very fast. Now, I do have it on the server where, um... So obviously, you can't hit things like willy-nilly on 1.12. For obvious reasons. But on a server like Hypixel, where you can hit things and it doesn't, because of the PvP update, because it doesn't give you a cooldown on Hypixel, you can just go, like you can just hit as fast as you want and they'll all die. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video. Oh, wait, I want to kill one pair, just for fun, okay. And one chicken, okay. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this video. Hope this helped everyone trying to get the impact client. And I'll see you next video.